Hello guys, um, today we're going to talk about the next episode of the 1990 Flash series called Double Vision. It aired on uh, November 1st, 1990. It's a 47-minute episode. It has 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb with about 100-ish user votes. It guest stars, if you're curious on the main stars, I just check out the pilot episode that I covered. Um, it guest stars Charlie Hayward, who plays Marcos Trachman. I think... I think he plays the main guy, bad guy. I can't remember the main bad guy's name in this episode. He looks very 90s funky, but I can't remember his name. And and he was also in uh, Poison Ivy the movie and Blue Poison Ivy the movie. Not really anything noticeable. And the episode was directed by Gus uh, Trichronis, who actually direct, who was played Indio in West Side Story. That he he directed another episode in the series as well. Now this, this um, this is an interesting episode. This is the first episode where we, where the villain seems pretty comic booky. He kind of has a look to him. He has a very '90s look. He's very. <laughs> that's the one thing that I'll probably you'll remember most about this episode is the villain because he's very '90s esque. And this episode, I almost don't want to say it because the surprise is half the joke. But he uses, he uses a. a I'll, I'll kind of, he uses, he makes a big deal about this technological advance, and it's designed like, like, a video game accessory, and <laughs> it's funny, if you know video games, it's hilarious, um, or even 90s culture in general, really, um, yeah, but he's classic villain, he, he's big on tech, he's like, he has, he has these glasses that help him, like, in things, implemented and he has a long slick black ponytail like super 90s and it's it's kind of it's kind of very nice he's very campy too he has a nice campiness to him um and yeah pretty much in this episode they what happened pretty much what happens is barry gets um he the guy the villain um the villain uh uh, what do you call it, uh, he finds a way to control Barry, and he uses him to do bad stuff in the city, and, and yeah, the, it's pretty much that, and he, Barry has to find that out, and, and they're using him to, actually, believe it or not, he actually gains a quite a quick of a reputation in the city, this series moves very quickly in terms of establishing the Flash, cause, cause, I almost wonder, it's kind of a side note to the overall series, but I almost wonder, like, if they kind of knew that the show might not last. So they probably made wrote the, made the season at such a pace where it feels like to establish him quickly, so they can do as much as with him as they can. I I'm, I'm, I wonder that. That's a, I wonder if that about that. But anyway. He tries to figure out what's going on and everything because he falls because he get he blacks out and he does all this stuff and he wakes up and everything and times passed and all that stuff. It's actually it's actually pretty cool because um, because the guy who's doing that he's works for a mobster who's trying to find a wit trying to find the daughter of a witness that he's trying to manipulate and that's kind of the gist of the episode and Barry's trying to do both the ends of that, and it's kind of, it's very, I, what I enjoy most about it, I mean, besides everything else being decently well, because you the nightmare scene, nightmare scene borderlines camp, <laughs> fun, fun comic book camp, though, which I liked, there's a nightmare scene, which is pretty cool, um, but yeah, the episode itself, I, I think, was well executed like the rest of them, the only thing about this episode is that it, it, There's not really anything bad about the episode. Once again, it's really just establishing the character and his rogues. It, they kind of go with a more kind of... I will say, out of all the villains so far in the series, outside of maybe the pilot episode, this villain feels the most, like, comic book driven. You know, he he feels... Because the look you design, the way he acts, is very, very comic booky. Even though... When it, even though he's not wearing a costume or has a flashy nickname, as far as I remember, it, that's the thing about this episode. It's not. I wouldn't say it's not memorable, but it's not necessarily. When you watch the rest of the episodes, this one's gonna seem like a distant memory. In all honesty, 
Um, but it's a good episode. Everything's well executed, as, ex well executed like the other previous episodes. And the one thing I like about this one is um, is uh, the end fight though with Barry, because this is pretty tricky for Barry to try to figure out. You see, this is what I like about the series is that the the cast is very small scale. The main cast. So when a problem happens, it's really Barry and, like, his scientist friend Tina, McGee. Those two are pretty much the ones figuring everything out, mostly from a superhero standpoint. It's not this, it's not like five or six people, you know. It's like two people. And I, I and that just makes things, makes the problems feel more gigantic, which I like. And feels them more daunting to accomplish, which I like as well. And, and this one was a pretty big one in that area. The, that's the thing I like about the, the episode, especially this one. It feels like any problem that comes up really feels like a challenging problem. They made it feel like that this is a task that that is very daunting. And that's what I like about this one especially because he literally controls Barry. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a ha And Barry doesn't know anything. I mean, it requires some work to figure it out, but they do, of course. I mean... Of course they figure it out. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the episode. It's it's overall solid positives besides everything else, which is well you would like the previous ones, is the villain is a step in a, a more of a comic book directional step, which I kinda like, but but yeah, it's but yeah, this episode is really nineties ish, which I love. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say about it. It's good, don't skip it give it a watch and that's all i have to say about uh and yeah thanks for watching guys uh, please subscribe and like the videos and have a good day